Vanessa and my friend Deanna from Australia sent me a box of goodies. Yay! I love getting stuff from her. Um, I sent her a box recently, so she'll probably have that on her YouTube channel, which is Deanna's World. I will link her channel below um, so you can see what I sent her. I also got something from her today for my birthday, and I'm going to save that till the end of this. So I'll do all this box stuff, and then I'll show you the big gift. I was stunned. Absolutely stunned. She just... Ah, I love her. Um, <laughs> okay, and a box of goodies that she sent. The first thing is Lip Cody. Lip Cody, I think. And it's a lip um, stick sealer. And it's in vanilla. And it says you apply your lipstick, blot with a tissue, and repeat. And evenly brush this quick drying stuff over. And keep your legs apart. Well, keep your legs apart. <laughs> I've been having one of those days where <laughs> I just can't talk. Like my brain and my mouth has no connection today. What is wrong with me? Keep your lips apart while it sets. And there is 100 applications per bottle. I really should refilm this after I said that, huh? But I won't. That's just, I won't. We'll just keep going. With your lips apart, not your legs. The next thing she sent was this eye makeup remover and corrector. Um, and they're just little cotton buds, and they're filled with liquid, and you can just wipe off your mistakes, which is pretty cool. Um, then she sent me two of these Rimmel Scandalize eyeshadow sticks, I believe they are. They're very pretty. I've never tried these. Um, they're waterproof. This one is in bulletproof beige, and this one is in bad girl bronze. So this is bad girl bronze. Oh my gosh, they're so smooth. Really pretty. Love that color. That is really going to be nice for fall. And this one is bulletproof beige. I don't know if we have these here. If we do, they'd be at like Ulta. I know my Walmart sells some Rimmel stuff, but they wouldn't get anything like this in. That's for darn sure. And then she sent me a Maybelline Baby Lips um, in Berry Crush, which is really cool because these look like chapstick containers. They're not like the ones that we have here. Um, I really like this one, too. Just a nice, really light pink color. Then she sent me this cute little strawberry tinted lip balm. And it's by Mugu, and I think this is an Australian brand. Yeah, because it's www.mugu.com.au. And it looks really dark, but whenever you put it on your hand, you can't see it. It's clear. I wish I could smell it, because it probably smells really good. Because it's strawberry. Love lip balms. Like, I like lip balms way more than lipstick. I just love lip balms. Then she sent me three Rimmel blushes. I've been wanting this Rimmel blush in Autumn Catwalk since I first seen um, Casey. It's Blondie do a tutorial and she had this color. I can't get Rimmel blush anywhere. My Alta doesn't even carry it. I don't have anywhere to buy it. So she found it for me. I think it's easier for her to get Rimmel than it is for me to get Rimmel. And this is just a gorgeous pale blush. And I just stuck it right over top of that lip balm because I'm a ding bat, but it's right there. Really pretty. Then she sent me two more um, Rimmel blushes. This one is in Pink Rose. I'm going to swatch on my other hand. Very pretty. Another nice fall color. I'm glad she sent me some things that um, I can wear in the fall. This one is really, really nice. This is called Live Pink. And it's perfect. It was just, it's just the blush color I would wear too. And that one is right there in the center. You know, she, <laughs> uh, she sent me, well, she didn't send them to me. She ordered some things from Sephora. That just, I have to glue that back in. Some eyeshadows that were discontinued they are amazing actually you're gonna see one of them in my favorites video coming up for this month but um 
she got some for her and some for me, and I took the duplicates out for me that were the same thing was wrong with them. They, like, aren't stuck to the palette, so I don't know what these companies are using as glue, but they need to rethink that because, uh, obviously this is an issue with others other than the Sephora eyeshadows. Anyway, she sent me the Models Prefer Professional Mineral Bronzer, and it says with mirror, and... It looks like this. It has a sifter. And let me see if I can get this out. If I can't get it out, I'm not even going to bother. Because the other day, oh, a little bit of the product just came out. So I'm just going to wipe that right off the mirror. And I'm going to swatch it right on my hand. Right off the mirror. I don't know if you can see that. It's a nice, a nice light bronzer. It'll be perfect just for warming up your face. So I'm excited to try that. Um... Then she sent me this Australia's Intensify Eye Wet Dry Eyeshadows, and they're blue. And why didn't I open everything before I started filming? These are really nice, um, long-handled sponge tip applicators. I like those. Here are these, and I'll swatch them. It doesn't say, where does it say, does it say, True Blue is the name of the palette. So, these are pretty darn pigmented. She sent me another one of these Australia's eyeshadow palettes, and they were also really pretty like that. Um, can you see them on my arm? I'm sorry, I'm totally running out of room to swatch. Those are really, really pretty. I really like wearing blue, like, underneath my eye and my, by my waterline. Like, that's my favorite place to wear blue eyeshadow. Then she sent me this little two-pack, which I did take apart already. It is Face of Australia Face Base Primer. Smooth skin prevents fading and locks in moisture. Oil-free. So there's a primer. And then it came with the Face of Australia Long-Lasting Natural Foundation and this color is in Natural Ivory. Long-lasting foundation that evens out skin tone, moisturizing, and provides a natural, flawless finish. So, there. Those were a set. They came together. And the last thing in this goodie box was from Illamasqua. And in the color Electrum. And it's a cream shadow. I've never owned anything by Illamasqua. I felt like I had, like, a luxury product in my hand because... It just sounds so luxurious. Love the packaging. Like, I just want to keep this on my counter. It's so pretty. And I did swatch this. It's this gold cream shadow. It's, it's in liquid metal. It is so creamy, guys. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. Now she did tell me that this will crease, so you have to use it with primer. I don't even care. It is so darn pretty. Something else that'll be great for fall. Okay, so that was everything in that box. And what I really need, well, I'm not going to swatch the other thing. Let me put these all back in the box. Because this is like, ugh, I opened this thing today. Actually, it came like Tuesday. And my birthday is today, which is Saturday, and I've been staring at this Sephora box all week, and she didn't want me to open it until today. I'm glad I waited, but I really, when I opened the box, I thought it was something for her, because I never thought it was for me. Um, so I haven't swatched it or touched it or anything, because I was waiting to make sure that I heard back from her on Facebook saying that it actually was mine. This is the Smashbox Masterclass Palette number 2. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Um, it's so pretty. It makes me want to cry. I can't, she just, oh, Deanna, thank you so much. This is gorgeous. I would never buy this for myself because I don't buy a lot of high-end things. This is so, so pretty. It comes with this little booklet and it has like some looks and how you get them in there. So there's that. And this has a gorgeous box. It's like metallic rose gold color. Then it opens up. It's magnetic. 
look at this beautiful palette. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. <laughs> See, I'm just like blown away. I would never ever even look at this in the store because I would never buy it. These are all eyeshadows and they all have names on this little flap. And then here we have, um, I think these look like cream shadows and blushes and bronzer. And I think this is probably a blush too. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. Okay, let me lift this up. I haven't even touched them. Like I said, I was waiting for her to uh, tell me that they were actually for me and not for her because I was afraid that it might be hers and I didn't want to touch it and just couldn't believe she got this for me. Um, it's so pretty. Let me, well, let me swatch one color. I'll do the blue. This blue right here. It's called Peacock. So, I don't own anything by Smashbox that pretty color. If I can get it on my hand somewhere. Oh, I want to put this on my eyes like like right this second. It's so pretty. And I'm going to swatch the colorful ones because I don't have anything. This is the forest green. Look at the pigmentation on that. And they're, they're, they're not chalky or anything. Oh my gosh. Um, one more, one more. This midnight blue. Oh, the green is called Serpent, and the blue is called Ultramarine. It's like navy. It's so pretty. Okay, um, and then I'll swatch a blush. I will swatch the blush called Rosy. And it's right there. And where am I going to put it? Right there. Oh, my. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. And then this is called Shimmer. So, so pretty. And this is called Lenses. There's those. And I don't know if you'll be able to see them. They're so pretty. I love this palette. I think I'll take it to bed tonight and sleep with it. And have dreams about beautiful makeup. Because last night I dreamt that I was at Sephora and I was buying Marc Jacobs makeup in their beautiful packaging. And then I woke up and realized that I was just at home putting on Revlon. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it was a nice dream. Maybe someday I'll buy something with Marc Jacobs written on it, but I highly doubt it. Anyway, that's everything from Deanna. Deanna, thank you so much. This is just amazing. And it's so heavy. It's so pretty. All right. Thanks for watching, and I will see you again soon. And like I said, I will link Deanna's World, her YouTube channel, down below. Thank you. Bye-bye.